on May 26th, 2010. Two broad swaths of wind-blown ash, many kilometers across, obscure the Icelandic coastline and sweep over the Atlantic Ocean. The picture you're looking at is the natural color image from the beginning of the eruption of Eyjafjallajökull volcano, which shut down air traffic across Europe and drove panic into the masses. Now, one year after the Eyjafjallajökull rumbled to life, another Icelandic volcano began spewing ash and steam. At approximately 1730 UT, on May 21st, 2011, Grimsvotn began to erupt. The volcano sent a plume of ash and steam 20 kilometers, or more than 12 miles, into the atmosphere. The plume height dropped to 15 kilometers, or 9 miles, but occasionally rose to its initial altitude throughout the eruption. Now, the moderate resolution imaging spectro radiotometer MODIS on NASA's Terra satellite captured this natural color image at 1300 UTC on May 22nd, 2011, just eight hours after the volcano erupted. Above Grimm's Volton summit, volcanic ash forms a circular brown plume that towers above the surrounding clouds. In the southeast, ash has colored the snow surface dark brown. Ash from the volcano reduced visibility to 50 meters. That's just 160 feet. Online reports showed that ash falls prompted the closure of Keflavik, Iceland's largest airport, and caused some areas to turn as dark as night in the middle of the day. And we have some video footage we'd like to share with you. Now, the initial plume from Grimsvotn's eruption was higher than that of Eyjafjallajökull, which only reached five miles or eight kilometers. Despite its taller plume, Grimsvotn was not expected to hamper transatlantic air traffic as much as Eyjafjallajökull had. At least in the first 24 hours, Grimsvotn ash was forecast to travel to the northeast. It was coarser and less likely to remain airborne long enough to re reach European airspace. Now, some volcanic ash models, however, suggested ash could interfere with flights in the UK and Ireland beginning on May 24th, and due diligence was had. Are we repeating this cycle? I hope not. But the footage is certainly spectacular. And it is looking like, in all likelihood, Grimm's Vote, the volcano you're looking at now that erupted back on May 21st, 2011, is about to erupt again, decade later. And when we get to the details, well, those show that this volcano erupts every decade in recent times. Now, volcanic plumes that come from Iceland, they can provoke lightning. And the plume from Grimsvotn produced an intense lightning storm, which you see here. At its peak, the lightning storm produced 1,000 times as many strikes per hour as normal. Whatever normal is. That's insane. And more lightning strikes than Eyjafjallajökull had a year earlier. So this could be some spectacular footage we're about to be seeing. If you think La Palma was a boom, <laughs> buckle your seatbelts.
Now, according to IcelandGeology.net, glacier flooding is starting from the Grimsfjall volcano. Now, I don't believe everything I, I hear and see, but this certainly is the beginning of the Grimsvotten volcano erupting back in 2011. It first has to poke a hole through the Vanta Yokel Glacier, and we'll get to that in a moment. We're going to bring you up to speed to everything you need to know about Iceland and the volcanic geology. Now, this is coming out just hours ago. The most recent update, it's about 12 hours old now, but the ice cave in Grimsvolten began to descend earlier today. The Scientific Council for Civil Protection met today about the state of affairs of Grimsvolten, but measurements showed that the ice shelf there is beginning to decline, which is an indication that a Grimsvolta Halayup, which is a joculup, is imminent, which is a major glacial flood from volcanic melting. It's very particular to Iceland, and especially the Vanti Yokel Glacier. The ice shelf in Grimsvotten has now sunk by 60 centimeters in recent days, and the speed of the descent has been increasing over the past 24 hours. Based on these measurements, it is likely that water has started to flow from the Grimsvotten, and that there is hope for a run in the Gikishvil. Based on the previous run, it can be assumed that running water will appear at the glacier edges in the next day or so and will reach a maximum in four to eight days thereafter. So once it starts seeping out, it melts a bigger hole, and then you have a gush, the joculups. Currently, there is no increase in electrical conductivity at the output zone, which is the clearest sign of running water. So we're still waiting for that, and I'm sure tomorrow we will have an update. Now, the Met Office also has a gas meter at the source of the output zone, which would also give indications to whether running water is in the waterway. Based on measurements at the water level at Grimsvotten now, it can be estimated the maximum flow of the runoff will be 5,000 cubic meters per second, which is an epic whitewater river. But such a run will probably have little effect on structures such as roads and bridges. It would need to double or triple to actually go over the walls and create havoc. But this does not matter. And as we look over the seismicity here at Vantioko Glacier, and real quick, let me bring you up to speed. This is Iceland here. We have the Reykjanes Ridge here. We have one of these stripes here, Fagradosfall erupting. And you can see the main fissure that runs through Iceland, through the mid-ocean ridge, comes right through Grimsvolten, right here on the Vatnajökull Glacier. And when things start to melt here, underwater tubes form and the gusher comes out here towards the ocean or down here. Now, the problem with that is it releases pressure. And when you release pressure on Grimsvolten, it has the potential to erupt. Now, let me tell you what I'm talking about here. There are examples of eruptions in Grimsvotten after the water flows. Sudden eruptions due to falling water levels are thought to trigger eruptions. The last time this happened was in 2004 and before that in 1934 and 1922. In 2004, traces of the start of the eruption were seen, and the eruption began about three days later. We're at the end of the day of November 1st. So, if you have a large enough melting of the glacier on top of the volcano here, this is where Grimsvotten is here, up here, then the release pressure allows the magma then to shoot up, which has been held in place by the ice. And Vantanyokel is the biggest and only continuous glacier on the sheet. It's a continental glacier, if this is a continent. It's called an Icelandic glacier. <laughs> so if we come and look at the eruptive history of Grimsvolten, and there's the 2011 eruption picture we showed you earlier, that was historically a VEI-4, one of the largest eruptions 
in modern times. The last VEI-4 confirmed, you would have to go all the way back to 1873. But I digress, so let's go over some of the facts. Now, if you look at the eruptive history, since the early 1800s to present, there's been VEI-2 and 1 activity with a VEI-4 happening at the end of the Dalton minimum. If you look at modern times, at the end of the modern maximum, going into the new grand minimum, we've had VEI-3, 3, 3, 3, and 4, an increasing trend. Do we see any bigger eruptions in the deep past? Yes. We see a VEI-6 at 8, 8230 BCE. That's 10,200 years ago at the end of the Younger Dryas event. So are we increasing towards VEI-6 territory? And the VEI-6 wouldn't happen until the end of the Grand Minima sometime in 2050 or 60? Well, that doesn't bode well because we could have be ramping up to VEI-5 or repeating VEI-4-3. So this volcano has some significant potential to affect the climate, air traffic, and God forbid, the supply chain. And we'll just finish off with a little bit more footage here to tantalize you. <laughs> and that's a boom to knowledge and a preview for a Wooshcraft Bear. I hope you got something out of the video. We try to bring you up to speed on all the information we have, historical, scientific, and pertinent for you to make your own call on what's happening. Hello, we also want to inform the public. Oh, of course, Wooshcraft Bear. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. And we'll be back soon with another boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm.